What's the worst SX you've ever had? He came instantly. Left the room and didn't talk to me, out of embarrassment, for two weeks after. Opposite version. First time I had SX with my current boyfriend. He was coming before he could even position himself properly. Maybe 5 seconds. Silence. Awkward. Then he looks me in the eyes and sarcastically says was it good for you too? Joking about it took all the awkwardness of it away. Kind of adorable. This might be me. This dude just had no rhythm. At all. It was a really weird set of thrusts. So I thought fck it. I'll take control and started riding him. To which he continued the weird. Uncoordinated and non-rhythmic thrusts. I dated this guy for a few weeks. Then came SX time. We were naked and making out. Then I moved to go down on him. His crotch smelled very strong of cologne. And never dealing with it before. I started sucking him. It was cologne. And a lot of it. My mouth was full of it. My eyes and nose started to burn. And I started throwing up. I couldn't get that taste out of my mouth and off my face for days. It was Drakenwar. Guys. Don't ever fking do that. Ah. The old Pinonwar. He rubbed his dick between my butt cheeks until he came. Not realizing he wasn't actually in me. Edit. It was not deliberate. Edit 2. I only weigh 110 pounds. Guys. I was pretty much flat on my back on some concrete underneath a bridge. I don't know how he didn't notice but he did brag about getting it in. Which he most certainly did not. Edit 3. Was having a sex. She was riding cowgirl with lots of bouncing. Perhaps I zigged when I should have zagged. Long story short my boner got right angled. I had her in ugly purplish golf ball size knocked off the side of my dick for about 3 days. Then when the swelling went down. The bruising started to spread out. Right down to my balls. My balls didn't hurt. But they were an ugly color. Only time in my life I googled broken penis. TL. DR. Don't get your dick bent. With my XBF. I'm a pretty small person. 5 feet 0 and 95 lbs. And he is big. Plus had gained weight. 6 feet 3 and 250 lbs. He was on top of me and refusing to use his arms to support his upper body. Causing him to rest his entire chest weight on me. I kept telling him to prop himself up. But he kept saying his arms were tired. I was basically suffocating. I started wheezing very loudly and needed my emergency inhaler. To make things worse. He got mad at me for ruining the moment. TLDR. SX with my then girlfriend behind a tinny, small metal boat. On the beach whilst camping with our families 100 meters away. My girlfriend was going down on me after drinking orange juice. She took it a little too deep and puked. Forcing a unique Barlow J mixture into my urethra. 0 stroke 10. Would not recommend. Did she drink it back out using your penis as a straw? Edit. This is my most memorable comment. The most upvoted. Great. She complained about being too wet. She complained about having August MS too soon. Complained about liking me too much. Complained about being in too many positions. Complained about going to work in the morning. ETC etc. It went from seeming funny to just being annoying. I was enjoying myself and said oh shti yes. And she stopped the SX to tell me not to swear. She was a bit of a prude. Five minutes back into the SX she says talk dirty to me. I didn't really say anything. I didn't know how to talk dirty without swearing. Good to be here? She asked if I wanted a blow job. It immediately began with this weird sensation so I looked down and realized that a. Comma she had never done anything like this before in her life. And b. Comma she took the term blow job as literal and was trying to inflate my dick like it was a balloon. Did you raise your arms up over your head and scream stap? I'm gonna pop. Fun fact. I had a girl start giving me a blowjob and we were both pretty messed up. 
She gagged and threw up a little on my cock and I closed my eyes pretending not to notice while she slurped it all back into her mouth and swallowed it. Was not the best experience. Farted in a 69 with an obese girl. You've woven a complicated web. I had a girl tell me I am the Michael Phelps if blowjobs. She was not. Oral on a woman. Unexpected diarrhea. Explosive or guess M. You do the math. Please. For the love of all that's holy. Don't show your work. Close bracket. Edit. Thank you for the gold. My wedding night. Planning a wedding is a lot of work. And it is a really, really long day. Granted it was fantastic and one of the best days of my life. But when midnight rolls around you are freaking exhausted. But since you just got married that day. You feel like you need to do the deed. We finished in about a minute and it still seemed like so much effort. But we just wanted to go to bed. The honeymoon however. A guy with dick cheese expecting me to not only blow but deep throat him. Fallation do fromage. Girlfriend was cold during sx. She decided to pull the quilt tighter which ended up with me head butting her in the nose. I like this one. Just normal enough that it could happen to me. Just stupid enough that I'm laughing. No bleeding. Screaming. Anal. Cutting. Or tiny white worms in the vagina. This one is warm. Comfortable and safe. This one should be at the top. He was humping my leg like a chihuahua and made out like a liquor tongue had no control of half of its tongue. Yeah. You paralyzed? It was great until she had a flashback to a time she was raped. She started crying so we stopped and I hugged her and told her I was her friend. She then screamed. Don't touch me and I stopped. She then said. You're going to hit me. Aren't you and told her I would never hurt her. She kept saying she didn't trust me but she eventually calmed down. We took a shower together and I had a talk with her and said that we didn't have to have sx again if she didn't want to but I would like to be her friend. I also told her she should see a therapist. After that. We talked on the phone a couple of times but the she all of a sudden unfriended me on facebook and I never heard from her again. The moral of the story is never have sx with someone the same day you met them. You did everything right though. Comforted her. Calmed her down. Reassured her. She probably didn't want to see you again because it must have been a painful experience. Not your fault. Was banging a girl in the back seat. It's good times. Cos rocking. Windows steamed. She's coming and then I start coming so I grab her by the hips and clamp down and drive in. Guess my thumbs were on her bladder cause she straight up pisses on me. And lo. At that moment a cop knocks on the window. She freaks and tries to jump off and I take her knee in my freshly drained balls. So now I got a cop laughing at me. Piss in my back seat. And chattered balls. Cop was all just go. Blanked. Oh man I'm late to the party but here goes. A girl approached me about being her FWB. Considering she was actually really cute that was a simple no brainer. So our first time hanging out comes along and the SX is so odd. She had told me she had some kinks and I'm pretty open so I wasn't intimidated. But I had never experienced anything like that before. Two fingers on the back of my shoulder. Now press your thumb hard on the inside of my thigh. Dot. Okay. This went on the whole time we were having SX. I'm thinking damn are we having SX or building something from Ikea. Fast forward a few days and she wants to meet up again. I agreed and I kid you f kin not. When she was riding me she had my arms moving in the same way the Imca dance. I burst out laughing and she got upset for making fun of her kinks. SX was terrible but I still laugh about every time I hear the village people. She was an experienced virgin and she didn't want to lose her virginity. So she suggested anal. I was like awesome. Great idea. Then few minutes into the action. There comes a hot steamy green apple nasties. She ran into the bathroom and nearly spent there over an hour for embarrassment. I played it off and said it's not a biggie. We tried again. And it was smooth this time. 
Practice makes prefect. I guess. Edit. So many of you mentioned that song FCK me in the ass cause I love Jesus exactly. She was a choir girl and member of the church band. She was so religious that she never listened any other music. Who the FCK are Beatles? Michael Jackson? Literally zero knowledge of outside the church and school. She even doesn't seen a single movie. Because all of that are devil's deeds. She thought I'm a lost soul. And F kid me out of kindness to save me from hellfire. What? That's what she told me. But. Man she's extremely hot but her weirdness and strangeness outweighed her hotness. I told her it's time for her to please Jesus again. After SX. He informed me that sweat really grosses him out. So. I could either shower before bed. Or go home. It was pretty late so I opted for the shower. He gets in first. Scrubs his balls and pits with a washcloth. Then hands it to me to use. I put my clothes on and went home. He really just wanted you to go home. My long time GF dumped me at 10 years ago. I was extremely miserable and lonely. Got drunk. Picked up an ugly hooker with smelly armpits and for no other reason than self destruction went down on her. Puked in bathroom sink afterwards. 10 stroke 10 don't recommend. That's not what 10 stroke 10 means. He was moaning extremely loud and it sounded so fake it. It annoyed me so much. Then when he would slip out he would just continue humping. Not even trying to put it back it. You may have had SX with a soft core P-Rum star. Met this girl at a low P house party. After a few drinks she leads me upstairs for some privacy. Went into a bedroom. Super dark except for a night light on in the bathroom. Got her undressed. Picked her up and laid her down on the bed. Someone moans. Wasn't her or me. We grab our clothes and book back downstairs. We were in the host's great grandfather's room. It wasn't bad SX. But I've been hit in the eye with jizz. Quite uncomfortable. We were both very depressed and very drunk. She worked as a phone SX operator and I may or may not have sold drugs at the time. When I pulled off her skirt. I noticed that her thigh was covered in fresh cuts from self harming. We were on the couch because her house only had one room and it was occupied by her child. She told me to be quiet so as not to wake him. I was erect long enough to penetrate her. But no amount of whiskey could dull the unbearable sadness of the situation. I stopped maybe 2 minutes into it. I made awkward small talk. Sobered up. And drove home. She was probably looking for someone to care about her. But I had already given up on that idea for myself a long time ago. We never saw or spoke to each other again. I was the lucky recipient of a very eager virgin's first attempt at performing fellatio. My prize was a groin pull and some light bruising. The smells. Oh lord. The smells. Took her from behind. Faked being a two pump jump. Dismounted and threw on a war documentary. I don't know why I expected a come get naked my space bulletin to attract greatness. Damn that's hot. Keep going. We talking like a steamy Ken Burns 10 part series on the American Civil War? The build up in that thing. Ken is a master of foreplay. He doesn't even expose a single bloated body on the battlefield until like episode 6. Or do you like it quick and nasty? Like an early 2000s history channel battle of Stalingrad that glosses over any pertinent or accurate facts and just shows explosion after grainy black and white explosion in between incessant commercials for porn stars? I just came back from a work trip and haven't emsturbated in about a week so I was particularly randy. So I called up my FWB and she came over but she was on her period. She also hated giving blowjobs. But she eventually did it. So now I have this beautiful girl sucking my dick with a lot of eye contact which is hot as shit and as I'm about to come. I always let that gal know. She pops my dick out of her mouth and proceeds to jerk me off aiming my dick at my face and I just unload into my mouth. And nose. She starts laughing. I'm spitting and laughing and crying. She said. Sorry but not sorry. I miss her. She was always fun. 
found some white creature that was alive inside girl's vagina after I'd been going down on her. Colon. You found the pillow pants? Thanks man. Teenage SX in my car. She raked her teeth the whole time. She was at it for at least an hour. I was near Tez but how do you tell a cheerleader to stop? Then mercifully I came. But I didn't warn her. My truck looked like that Randy Marsh meme. I got really drunk with a good friend who was a lesbian. She wanted to experiment. It wasn't fun for either party. I was 14 and she was 16. I come from a decently wealthy family and this girl was into me and the money. I lost my virginity to her with no condom and no s all experience whatsoever. I had no idea what sx felt like thus making me come faster that a lightning bolt to zoo's boner. If it was metal. Obviously painted the vagina walls with a premium coat of baby batter. Emphasis on pre. Over the next couple months she scared me into thinking I got her pregnant. I later found out she knew she wasn't. But for some twisted reason just wanted to fck with my mind. So. For months I thought my life was over. Every time we changed classes all I heard was period and thought how she missed hers. That was 16 years ago. FCKU. Becky. Shower SX with an X. It was uncomfortable. Water makes terrible lubricant. And her footing slipped from the side of the tub and she knocked her head on the wall. This exactly sums up my shower SX experiences. Dude pulls out and rips the condom off prepared to come on my tits. I tell him to come on my face. What I didn't bank on was the velocity or volume of his population paste. He blew his load up my nostrils and into my eyes. I promptly tried to inhale. Bad move. Choked on cum whilst temporarily blinded by the little swimmers. Population paste. Oh my f king god. With my LDRX. I learned that they had incredibly bad personal hygiene and never wiped when I kept getting UTs and then one day went down on them. I nearly threw up from the smell alone. And they looked at me like I was crazy. OMG same. Kinda tardy to the party but I had a very similar experience. Had an ex with terrible hygiene. At least oral wise. Kept getting yeast infections. Gonna get gross here so warning. My vag f king stank to be frank. I had this constant fishy smell and crazy discharge. Now we've all spit on it when we lacked lube. But I made him stop doing that. Still persisted. Figured I'd have to see a doctor. Nope. We broke up and haven't had a yeast infection since. Wash the fck up people. Think of your partners. The phrase not into it doesn't even begin to describe it. Up until me she had only been with women. But we both really liked our stuff kinky. We spent 2 months until we actually have piv sx. That was a really kinky 2 months. But when it came to me being actually inside of her. She was so unbelievably uninterested and was grossed out by me sweating and just the whole sx deal. Probably because she's a lesbian? My finger once ripped through the toilet paper. We agreed on oral. Lights off. I go down on her she has a huge bush. I am eating her out to total silence. I get the head tap to end come up. I apologize for not having satisfied her. She tied me to the bed posts. I started to panic. Made knots tighter. She couldn't get them undone. Couldn't find anything that would cut through this weird plasticy rope she'd used. Ended up putting a sheet over me and asking the elderly neighbor to help. He somehow undid the knots with ease. And gave us a very disapproving look as he left. No knife. Shears or any other sharp object around. Had sx with a midget once. I'm very tall. Just to see what that was like. It was not enjoyable. Did his father pay you off? Jay? No kissing. No oral. No fking. No anal. No nothing. Practically jerking myself off with somebody else next to me. I don't think that really qualifies. Please don't be on here, please don't be on here, please don't be on here. With my left hand. Push through the awkwardness my friend. Girl who was into me and talked big talk. 
I had just broken up with a serious GF so I went for it. She wasn't a virgin. But she had no idea what she was doing. Her BJ felt like nothing. She would constantly be moving out of rhythm during SX. Weirdly she shaved her vag except for a ring of hair right around the outside so you felt it rubbing against your dick. I slept with her once again like 6 months later. And she had put on like 40 pounds. That was the worst SX ever. It not only felt bad, but I felt bad about myself during and afterwards. I just kept wishing I was with her cute Asian roommate instead. Any girl that pulls a starfish on me equals the worst. That one time I said no. I didn't care at the time. But I'm never going to visit that guy again. Shower SX. As much as I wanted to work. It just doesn't fking work. There's a pretty big height differential. And a shower is just a little too narrow and just a little too short. She said I could pick her up and pin her against the shower wall. And my response was do you want to die?